Hello, my name is Swiss Bianco. In this video I will talk about the Kersho Zing. Uh, this one is the stainless steel version. They made different versions of that knife in the past. Uh, it's made in China of course. As we look at the box, it's a typical Kersho box. Uh, this one a bit more with black as well. We see the Zing stainless and the number 1730SS stainless steel quite likely. So inside the box we have the little plastic where the knife is in it and again the information about how to use the knife. It's just a, a guide for people that don't have too many knives how to use the different locks and uh, how to how to uh, credit a knife and uh, to resharpen it and all that. So that's pretty good and if you can't use, if you know the, the information, maybe you give that to a friend that, or people that are not that skill set yet on knives. Uh, knives are really nice to carry every day. It's a, a tool and it uh, comes in handy many times. Uh, not only the, the Kershaw Zing, but also Swiss Army knives with a bit more tools. As we come to the Zing, this one is the stainless steel handle variant. It's all blasted all over. It's a assistant opener system that it uses because of the blade shape with that long hollow ground blade here. Uh, it cuts really well. It's also pretty pointy, so that's not a, a pry bar. You should use that for cutting only. It has a bit of a, a really needle-like tip there, so that is not for prying. The size is medium the most. It's a, a little bit on the compact size, but that makes it really great for everyday carry. Because of the stainless steel handle, it's also thin. The, the handles are rounded off really well. Uh, we see it has a, a black polymer space there uh, that stands a bit over. That gives you a nice touch feel here as well. We see the clip would go on three positions. We have it mounted originally here on top but it would go below on the handle and on the reverse side too but not on this part here and the clip is relatively easy to change we have there actually torx screws that's always a bit hard to see if it's torx or allen but uh, those here are torx a nice stainless steel clip there with some holes uh, it's not a, a straight clip it's a bit a uh, uh, design that is a bit shaped but it uh, works pretty good and we see it's a Martin design made in China as we see on the laser engraving and the number is 1730SS as we saw on the box so we in on this knife we have a bit double features we have the flipper here that doubles as a guard and on top the thumb studs on both sides uh, the thumb studs I did not use much at all uh, the flipper is way more convenient to open that knife uh, so for me it could come without uh, the thumb studs uh, the, the knife for my bigger hands is too small to actually use the thumb studs also by the by the assistant opener system you need to be careful if you use the thumb studs the, the flipper is more more safe in that regard then of course it's a frame lock we see the, the liner lock is also the complete scale we see the cutout here the lightening up for the spring and then we see the detent ball that engages the lock uh, the engagement on this one is really good it's not too deep and not too too weak there really nice done 
the whole knife as it is closed look like this and we see here already the position of the flipper in the closed position of the blade as the knife is folded up and this one is too close by the scales it's a bit hard to actually open it up like this and then this part gonna gonna come to my hand so I always use the the flipper only that is way nicer uh, I did not yet check if the opening studs are removable but uh, quite likely they are screwed on with a bit of uh, a Loctite so the knife functions really well with that speed assist feature and uh, the flipper and all it's really really nice to open and close it uh, doesn't matter if it's with the right or with the with the left hand and yeah it's a it's a great knife good price on it as well and uh, not too big not too small uh, for my Self, I would wish that they make a bit a XL version that is way longer. That would be nice for sure for other people as well. Maybe with a four inch blade and a corresponding handle. The blade to handle ratio is relatively good too. We see the, the tip of the blade goes pretty pretty far here. It could go a little bit more and the the pivot is really on the side of the handle there too so that gives you a pretty big blade in a in a compact handle really nice so maybe one day we see a bit uh, a bigger version of the thing that much about the Kershaw thing in the stainless steel variant